Hello, welcome to the DAV's Virtual March on Washington, D.C. My name is Randy Reese. I serve as the National Service Director for the 1.2 million member Disabled American Veterans Organization. One of the goals of the Virtual March is to revamp the Veterans Benefits Administration Compensation and Pension Service Claims Process. The obvious question is, why revamp the CMP process? To understand this, we reflect on the process evolutions from the 1917 Veterans Bureau into the 1953 Department of Veterans Benefits, and finally to today's 1989 version of the Veterans Benefits Administration, commonly called VBA. These organizational evolutions were all positive steps forward in establishing disabled American veterans as a national priority. However, in 1989, when President Reagan elevated the Department of Veterans Affairs to cabinet status, it also became subject to judicial review by the U.S. Court of Appeals for Veterans Claims. Unfortunately, the Veterans Benefits Administration Compensation and Pension Service remains locked in its old practices. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs FY 2008 Performance and Accountability Report, it took 179 days on average to process CMP claims of which 86% of compensation claims were initially found to be accurate by the CMP service. Subsequently, the VA Office of Inspector General audited the Veterans Benefits Administration Compensation and Rating Accuracy dated March 12, 2009, indicates the accuracy of claims processed to be only 78%. In claims brokered to other stations for disposition, the accuracy rate fell more to just 69 percent. In total during FY 2008, 203,000 claims for veterans benefits may have been incorrect. The numbers of claims and jargon can also be difficult to understand. Rating, non-rating, pending, inventory, backlog, appeals. According to the VBA Monday Morning Workload Report which is available online and dated August 31, 2009, there were 749,586 rating and non-rating claims pending adjudication. Of those, 166,813 had been pending for more than six months. In addition, there was 174,546 appeals that required adjudication. And on average, it takes 645 days to resolve an appeal. The total claims pending 924,132 at the time of this table. Likewise, these statistics can be creatively cataloged. They can be sorted, they can be presented in different media. However, the fact remains that veterans are not well served. There is no significant reason to believe the future is going to be any brighter. Today, the CMP service, having both congressional and judicial checks and balances, has failed to evolve. In turn, the CMP service defends its two decade long failures. That's right, 20 years of failures to evolve by placing blame on both Congress and the judicial review. The finger pointing has solved nothing. Here's why we must revamp the CMP claims process. The harsh reality is for the past two decades, having crossed into the 21st century and three wars later, the CMP service claims process remains a 20th century paper process. The corporate culture of the Veterans Benefits Administration, CMP service, has failed its core mission to provide benefits and services to veterans and their families in a responsive, a timely, and a compassionate manner in recognition of their service to the nation. Together, we can change the CMP claims process paradigm. We can digitize the paper, automate the process to deliver accurate, timely decisions that meets the expectations of veterans, the Congress, and the American people. The time has come for the CMP service to evolve into the 21st century. Thank you for your support and participation in the DAV's virtual march. I now welcome you to stay engaged in the evolution. Chat with me and my colleagues during the virtual march on Facebook. Hope to see you online.